Okay, once your mix is ready, now we're going to deliver the mix. So how are we going to bounce the file? And I'm going to show you two major ways to do this. So the first thing is very simple, just like how we bounce any other wave in Pro Tools. We just go ahead and go to the bounce menu. And underneath, you can see now have the wave Dolby Atmos ADM file. So the ADM file is actually what we wanted for delivering uh, the Atmos mix. And uh, go ahead, we will we'll go to that selection. And now you can see it shows you how many beds and objects you've used in this session. And I can add a FFOA to it, which means where the session starts based on the time code. So I can tell the time code where my session starts. So now everything is sync up no matter where you play. And uh, the standard starts at one hour. Before I do that, I have to actually put my session at the right time code position. So I'm gonna get out of this. And then what I can do is to go to setup, session. And then I wanted to change this session start at one hour. So I hit enter and okay, I'll change that. And now I can see the top of my session, the top of my stems is at one hour. But I really wanted to give it a little pre-roll for um, the time code to catch up. So I wanted to give a little two second pre-roll before the start of the song. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change it again. So I'm gonna change this to zero, zero, hit right arrow key, 59, 58. So at 59 minutes and 58 seconds before one hour. Hit OK again. I want to maintain the time code. So now the start of the session is at 59 minutes and 58 seconds, but the start of my song is at um, one hour. That's perfect. So now I wanted to go ahead and bounce this and it at one hour. That's perfect. So I'm going to bounce it. Good thing about ADM is ADM is actually a really powerful file where um, you can just re-import this file into a brand new Pro Tools session and then everything including like the pen message where you assign your objects or beds, they are all there and including your audio. The only thing that's missing is the um, naming of the track, but it's very easy to figure out what track is that. So what we're going to do with the the bounce file when we play it. Oh, there's nothing there. It's because it can only be played by the renderer. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the renderer. And then I wanna open it from the renderer. So I'm gonna open. It sits as a master file. So I'm gonna actually open it from here. Once I get out of the sync, I can play. I'll play from one hour actually. Um, it's playing the right thing and then the level is good. So what I'm going to do for my clients to be able to hear it because they are not going to go in and download the renderer. So what I can do is actually go in here, file and export audio. I can export it as an MP4 for my clients to listen to on any kind of devices. I'm going to go ahead. And then I can just bounce it back in there. Um, we'll use music. And then for the entire master, which is, you can see the time code for the in and outs, which is perfect. Because MP4 is a video format, essentially. And if you don't have any video content to it, or like a music video, or like any sort of funny video that you want to add on, you can just put black video or, or no video. So it doesn't matter. And um, you just go ahead and explore. And now, your client can hear it on any devices. Okay, there's also the second way of bouncing this. So given that we have already done the time call settings for Pro Tools, which is what we have right now. And if you didn't follow along from the first part of the video, um, you can go back to where I set up the time call for the session. Once you have this set up, we'll go back to renderer and we want to create a new session or new master file for the renderer. So I'm going to go ahead and go to um, 
the file menu and then create a new master file. So I'm gonna call this Dolby Atmos Mix. Okay. And I do want it to start at one hour. So now I can create. Now you can see everything's ready and I just have to hit the link button where I sync up my Pro Tools session with the renderer. And then I'm gonna hit record enable. And if I play, you can see it started recording at one hour. So once you're done recording, you have the whole song recorded in this renderer and then embedded in the master file. So we're gonna go ahead and look at what the master file has. So you actually get a whole folder with three files. Session file for the renderer, the audio content, and then the metadata. As long as you have this master file, you can always open it back up in the renderer. And something you have to keep in mind is you have to look at the source of master. When it's on master, it meaning that it plays back whatever the recording you had opened. Once you finish rendering a track, like playing all the way through, it will automatically switch to master. So now what you hear is actually what it's being recorded on tape. And um, if you wanted to switch it back to whatever Pro Tools was playing, you have to put it in input. When it comes to delivering your master to a streaming services like Apple Music, all you have to do is to submit the ADM file. And you have to keep in mind that integrated loudness for the standard is minus 18. So uh, be mindful of that when you mix into Adobe Atmos. And um, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you like what I'm creating and if you find it helpful, please like, comment and subscribe and let me know what other videos or tutorials you want to watch and uh, bye for now. Thank you so much.